like there's a bloody handprint like right there and then there's like all these tally marks Hey guys welcome back to my channel you've got Jenny Love here and today we are going to do a wandering video we are going to go and check out some of Second Life's top rated places according to their destination guide a lot of these places are places that I have personally never been to these are going to be random picks that we are going to choose and we are going to do each place um, per video and these are chosen from the top rated picks in the destination guide and Today we are going to do something a little different We are going to go off of the strange and mysterious category in the destination guide and We are going to visit the top place the number one place in the destination guide for the strange and mysterious places so when I checked to see which place this was going to be, it ended up being Dystopia, which I think that's how you pronounce it, Dystopia or Dystopia. Um, but anyways, it is on the number one slot in the destination guide for these strange and mysterious places. So that's where we're going to go today. And again, I have not been there before. I have never visited this location, so this is going to be new for me uh, maybe not for some of you I'm sure a lot of you have been there hence the fact that it is at the top of the destination guide for strange and mysterious places so it's obviously um, visited often but again I've never been there so this is gonna be a first time for me and I have no idea what to expect I have no idea what this place is about so before we head over guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and this way you will never miss a video when it comes out and if you click the bell icon next to the subscribe button below the watch screen you will be notified every time I drop a video and you won't miss any of our venue transformations or our interviews or our wandering videos and most importantly Importantly, our Linden Dollar giveaway videos. So make sure that you subscribe, like this video, and click the bell icon so that you are notified every time. So, okay, let's head over there, guys. Okay, guys, so I just landed here at Dystopia, and um, it's already like kind of dark and sinister, as you can see. Uh, we're just gonna kind of take a walk around and see what we run into and see what's going on here um, Looking at the map. It doesn't look like there's anybody else here Like I'm the only person here right now, which is a little bit creepy. Yeah, this is um <laughs> Very artistic. I'll, I'll give them that. I mean this is this is pretty cool looking some things are kind of hard to see because of how dark it is. I do have my sun set to a state time, so whatever we're seeing here is the wind light that was chosen by the sim owner, obviously, so. I don't even, I, I'm like confused as to where to start here, like, I don't even know where to go. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna start going this way. I'm really sorry if it's hard for you guys to see. It's a little hard for me to see as well. There's some brighter areas it looks like over here. Maybe that was just like a dark area. This kind of reminds me of like an abandoned city almost, right? Like an apocalypse type thing, like, and it makes it even more freakier that nobody's here. Okay, so there's a big ass hole in the road. This is creepy. That's messed up. Okay, so... Okay, so... I mean, this is, like, this covers an entire sim. Like, this whole place is a whole sim. But it's really confusing on where to go. Like, there's... Okay, there's, like, bars and stuff here, I think. What is this? What is this place? Okay, guys. Okay. Okay. What is this? Like, seriously, what is this place? Oh my god! I am so confused. What is this place? Okay, what? Okay, at first I thought it was like an auto shop. 
and there's some like USB cable stuff but then you have like body parts on the walls and like robotic body parts hanging and there's like blood oh my god what is going on you guys this ain't right okay what does this say sorry sorry Sorry, 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 I'll morgue. It's a morgue. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. But what up with the USB cables for sale, guys? This is freaking creepy. This place is just sitting here, like casually on the street. And it says it's a hardware repair and fix place. But inside, again, there's body parts, y'all. Body parts. And the apron on the wall says it's a morgue. Dude, this is just creepy. I gotta get out of here. Okay, we're gonna go back this way. And there's that hole in the road, so we're gonna kind of try to avoid that. Okay, what is this place? I mean, this place looks pretty cool. I'm a little afraid to go inside because I have no idea what the hell it is, like, at all. But let's check it out, I guess. Huh. There's some ATM machines in here. Okay, what is this thing? What is this thing? Does anybody know what this thing is? It's some kind of a clock or sundial or something. I, psh, a clock, obviously. I don't know. I have no idea what this is. It's ticking, like it's making a ticking noise like a clock. Okay, let's see what happens when we click it. <gasps> Oh wait, where did it- what? It's a secret doorway. Alright, I guess let's head up- is this a photo booth? Huh, that's interesting. I've never seen a photo booth in Second Life. I mean, I don't even understand how they would work. Should we try it? Let's try it. Oh, this is so cool. This is cute. You can totally take a photo booth photo. That is adorable. I like that. Oh my god. Do you guys remember these? Do these things even like still exist in real life? I've, I haven't seen one in literally decades. Yes, I am that old. But a cigarette machine. I have, oh my gosh. Been forever. Okay, so I guess we're gonna head up here. There's a bar up here. Oh, I wonder if they have like events here. I mean, this is a cool enough looking bar. I would hang out here. This is pretty cool. All right, I think we should head back downstairs. Okay guys, so remember when I clicked that clock thingy and it opened a secret door so that I can get in here? Now I can't find it. I think I'm trapped. I think I'm trapped in here. I literally cannot find, oh wait, 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 wait. I just seen. Can I? <gasps> Thank you, God. Okay. Get me the hell out of there. Yeah, that kind of creeped me out a little bit. I thought I was trapped and I would have to TP out. Okay, so this is really cool over here. This looks like there's a little, like, old carnival that's been shut down. It's really hard to see in some areas. I feel like I'm going to fall in a hole somewhere because I can't see where I'm going. And being that this place is all, like, dilapidated... You really never know. Yo, I wonder if these rides work. I'm legit sitting on a headless horse. It does work. The music is kind of creeping me out though, I'm not gonna lie. I know that you guys probably can't hear it, but like, trust me, you might not want to. Because you might have nightmares, because I probably will after visiting this place today. But in all seriousness, guys, this place is really cool. Like... Whoever created this place put a lot of time and effort into it. I don't know how long it's been here, but again, I've never been here before. This is my first time, so um, you, if y'all have been here before or anybody has been here before, let us know in the comments below and let us know about your experience here and whether or not you come here often and what kinds of things you do here and stuff like that because this is a really cool place to visit. I definitely... Um, would want to come back and bring some friends with me and explore. What in the world is this? So this doesn't look very safe. Um, yeah, I would be like 
completely surprised if this works. But you know me, we're going to try it out anyways. So when I went to sit, it, this is where it put me. These are some weird poses. Okay, so now that I'm actually sitting normal for once, let's see if we can get this thing to move, which again, I will be completely surprised if we can because this thing is like completely broken. Maybe not. Uh, definitely down for maintenance. Okay, so that didn't work as I suspected and thank God because again, I don't think that my avatar is down for dying today. So moving on. So I found like this creepy looking warehouse type building and I really am not sure I want to go in there, to be honest with you. I wonder if there's a way we can get on this roller coaster. Oh, hell to the no. Another broken ride, guys. This place is neat as hell though, guys. I mean, definitely check this place out. This is dystopia, dystopia, dystopia. I don't know which way it is pronounced, but either way, it is in the number one slot of the destination list for strange and mysterious places. And I'm glad that I came to check this out. This is pretty cool. So this is like an old shut down, like worn down um, carnival, I guess, with creepy ass clowns. Oh God. Let's come in here and check this out and see what up with this. This looks pretty interesting. Um, is this like an outdoor like restaurant? I'm guessing that's what it is because it's like all food and stuff. So yeah, it looks like an outdoor restaurant. This is a little disturbing to see even in Second Life, but here's my question, guys, okay? Because I, for some reason, I don't know why, but I noticed this immediately and I don't know if anybody else has that has been here. But what in the world do these tally marks mean? Like, there's a bloody handprint, like right there, and then there's like all these tally marks. There's 90 of them, 90 tally marks. So does that mean like that that's how many people that, they, <laughs> that they've killed or how many times they got money from somebody or like, I, I can't shake the bloody handprint though, guys. So I'm just gonna get out of here as fast as possible because that little area is creepy too. Come on now, are you kidding me? You know, some of the things in here are just a little startling, I gotta say. Okay, I feel like we went back the way we already came. So let's turn around and go back this way. And instead of going into this like spooky homeless person voodoo friggin' market over here, we're gonna turn and go down here. So it seems like there's some pretty cool things over here. This is kind of going on the other end of the sim a little bit. What is that? This is actually pretty neat because this area is uh, like really, um, you know, old fashioned, you know, yet run down, like abandoned or whatever. But I think it's really cool looking how it's got like the hotel and then the classic, um, you know, little boxcar diner and then the movie theater, the drive-in movie theater, no less. This is a cool area. I really like this. This is adorable. So let's go check this out and see if there really is like a motel and a drive-in theater. I'm gonna go ahead and take the chance and say that there probably is not. It's probably, you know, just the signs or whatever to make it look cool, which it does. It makes it look really, really awesome. The diner is obviously here. Let's go in and check it out. Yeah, so this place hasn't been used for a while. You can see that it's, um, yeah, it's, it's yucky. Somebody though is warming up a piece of chicken, which is kind of weird. Okay, I had to get my poor avatar out of there because it looked like it smelled really bad up in there. So moving on. All right, I just came up on this wicked old house and it's actually cute. Like the house and the yard and everything is super adorable. Like there's like fruits and vegetables and stuff over here for sale, it looks like. It's kind of dark, but you know, I don't want to, um, you know, take it off estate time and ruin the moment of what it's supposed to look like as per the wind light set. So we're just gonna keep it on here. <laughs> I'm literally being chased by somebody right now. I have no idea who it is. Did we already see this area? I feel like we did. I could be wrong. Maybe not. This person's coming back around the block to collide right into me and I'm stuck. I told y'all I would fall into a hole. Okay, so I don't believe that we've been down this way. 
by Bob's Meat Market. Okay, so let's come down here and see what we find. That creeped me out. That literally, her legs just moved. Did they just move? Did you guys see that? There's just like a pair of legs sitting here in this wheelchair. And when I walked by, it looked like one of her legs kicked out. I could be wrong. Like maybe the leg just rezzed in, making it look like it kicked out. But that creeped me out. Just a little bit. I really have no idea what's going on right here. Okay, now this is adorable. That's cute though. That is, oh, I gotta take a picture of that. And you guys, this is literally the only like actual sit pose that they have. All the rest are like laying down and stuff. But let's see if this baby works. It doesn't work. Well, that sucks. I was looking forward to that, but moving on. That's not creepy. Jenny Love don't like broken love signs. That's a bad omen, y'all. No, thank you. Okay, so this actually brought me back to this warehouse. Like something keeps bringing me back to this warehouse. So I guess we're going to grin and bear it and head inside, guys. And in we go. I have no idea what to what to expect. This is a little creepy. Like, oh, I think I have to click this. Okay. What is up here? Oh, this is one of those old, like, baseball things where you can, like, play baseball by yourself. But it's not operational. Damn it. Okay, so let's go back downstairs. Maybe. Maybe there's like... I didn't see another area, but then again, it's really dark. If that's the only area that you can access in this whole building, I am going to be relieved because I really don't want to know. I don't think you can get in. Whew! Thank God. Y'all, I legit just heard a dog growl at me, so my ass is out of here. Okay guys, I am going to wrap this up today. Thank you for coming with me to explore Dystopia. And again, if you want to visit that place, you can find it on the Second Life Destination Guide. Uh, as of right now, it's the number one um, place in the strange and mysterious locations category. So if you want to check that place out, please do. It's really interesting, really cool. There are some parts that really did creep me out a little bit, but you know what? That's the fun of it. That's the adventure, guys. So definitely check it out. I drop videos every Tuesday and Friday with some wandering videos in between. So, you know, anywhere from two to four videos per week total. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell icon again next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every time a new video is released. And also don't forget about our Linden Dollar Giveaway videos, guys. The winner for our next Linden Dollar Giveaway video is going to be announced on Tuesday, May 14th, and that is for 5,000 Lindens. I'm giving away 5,000 Lindens to one lucky winner on Tuesday, May 14th, and the video that explains on how to enter that will be put in the description below so that you can click that link and check that out and enter to win 5,000 Lindens. Okay, guys, again, thank you so much for coming along with me today. I had a lot of fun, and I will see you again real soon with another fun and exciting adventure. So remember, guys, keep calm and love Jenny Love. Peace out.